But wait, what happens to the files that were previously stored in the cache after installing a new one? The browser doesn't know whether you're going to need the old ones or not, so it's up to you to clean the unused files from the cache. The Activate event is the perfect place to do this. When the Activate event is fired, the code gets a list of current cache keys and iterates through them using the map function. It then compares the key to the current key and, if they're not equal, purges them. This method does have a few disadvantages, though. First, this caching method requires us to update the cache key every time one of the app shell resources is changed. Otherwise, the old content will be served. So be sure to update your cache key with every change as you're working on your project. Another downside is the entire cache is invalidated and needs to be downloaded every time a single file changes. This means fixing a single spelling mistake will invalidate the cache and require everything to be downloaded again. Not exactly efficient.